Looking for some good performance, RGB DDR5 memory, well this XPG memory may be the memory for you. It is the Lancer RGB DDR5 memory. On the front of the slightly scuffed box, you can see it's nice metallic red. You've got the RAM stuck on there with the RGB effect. It looks like it's on the top center of it. Tells you it's the XPG Lance RGB DDR5 memory. It's 16 gigs times two, so that's 32 gigs altogether. It says it's 5,200 megahertz, or should that be mega transfers per second? That's the story for another day, but it is quite hard to read the labeling, especially the faint white on the red background. On the back of the box there's two cut out holes where you can see the actual specifications of the memory which is CL38 at 1.25 volts. You've got a QR code on there you can scan for more details and it also says desktop you dim in every language under the sun. Inside the box you've got a bit of plastic packaging other than that you've got two sticks of RAM no manuals or paperwork. Okay, let's have a look at the RAM itself. So it's a little bit misleading what you actually see on the box and the actual RAM. From the box, it looks like just this bit lights up. But if you actually look across the top, you have got a diffuser all the way across the top and slightly round the edge. So it does actually light up all the way across. I think it would have done better with a slightly different angled picture on the box so you could actually see the lighting effects all the way across. But otherwise, it's a black heat sink. It does have a nice bit of texture on there as well as sort of like a pin stripe effect as well it's got xpg written on there and on the other side it's practically exactly the same in reverse with the specifications on a little sticker otherwise it's a standard ddr5 pin layout Let's go over some of the specifications. So obviously it's RGB memory, which means that you can customize the RGB lighting via your motherboard software or whatever software you're using. It's got power supply stability on there on die ECC error correction, which is pretty much standard on most DDR5 these days. And you've got high quality materials with stable overclocking and it supports Intel XMP 3.0 for easy overclocking. And it comes in two different colors, black and white. So in conclusion, we've got some pretty stable, good looking memory. When I say stable, we tested it for 48 hours using Eurosoft's PC check and had no issues at all. We are able to overclock it to 5,400 megahertz with no problem. It could probably go higher if you played about with the voltage a bit more, but we did it at the standard 1.25 volts. We were able to knock down the cache rating from 38 down to 36 as well. So that's pretty good. So you could potentially get a little bit better value for money obviously if you're overclocking but obviously if you're overclocking all the risks are down to you so if you knacker it up well it's your fault basically now the rgb effects on there look pretty good the transition's quite smooth the way the actual plastic diffuses the light and it looks like it's nice and smooth and it changes slowly you don't see each of the individual leds which is pretty good so overall it passes all the tests it looks good you can overclock it it's stable well what else do you want it to do really other than sing and dance at you so in conclusion we do highly recommend this memory I hope you enjoyed that review. Why not click on this box just over here and you'll be able to see the review we did of the XPG SSD a few weeks ago. Otherwise, don't forget, give us a like, thumbs up, click the bell, you know the drill, just click them and otherwise we'll see you next time.